Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to see how you can import multiple general entries with just a single click using a small technique in excel so what we have here is the journal entry example in some of my previous videos i've discussed that if your journal entries on excel that you want to import does not contain a gap then you cannot import it you need to create a gap between the journal entries so if you haven't checked out that video i'll link uh, the video in the i button so you can check that out and now we will see in this video how you can copy and paste after creating the gap in the journal entries on the iaf format and then import it so what we have right here is the journal entry iaf format again you can download these iaf format free of cost it's an import kit that you can find online i've also made a video on it so you can check that out as well so when we have this iaf format we cannot open it directly on excel what we need to do is open excel first and then i'll go to open other workbooks select that journal entry template and for example this one now by default you have the template something like this okay so when you download it it will be something like this now what we need to do is here are our journal entries what i need to do is i'll copy all of these just get rid of this sequence sheet i'll copy all of this and paste it in my format make sure to paste it from the dates like this now what we will do with this because transaction type should be with every debit and credits so what i'll do is i'll select both of them and select the gap as well so it will write journal journal for each two lines on the debit and credit and then leave a blank space so just double click to send it down or just drag it manually so just make sure that the journal journal should be the transaction type and it should be with every single line which contains the entry all right now if you notice here that all the amounts are not in debit or credit form but in plus and minus so what i'll do is to add minus sign with all the credits that's very easy right minus 1 here just copy this first select all the data where you want to add minus sign and click on paste special and select multiply so what it will do it will multiply each value by minus 1 so click okay and you can see that all the minus signs are added now we need to get rid of these extra zeros so what i'll do is i'll select all the data press control f and replace zero with blank but there are other zeros right so i'll go to options and click on match entire cell contents and then click on replace all so this is perfect now we need to merge the cells so what i need to do is i need to paste all the credits under this debit so that the column should be one so let's select all the data copy and i'll paste it right here click on paste special and there is an option in paste special that is skip blanks so when i skip blanks whatever field has blank in it it will paste the data here so click on okay now all the fields are merged that is perfect and now we will copy or we will cut this data here so this is compiled now the final part is whenever the transaction start in the import template it contains trns and then on the second line or if we have multiple lines of the journal entries all the lines are called spl so when the transaction or particular journal entry ends it is said it should be identified as end transaction code so i'll select all of these and start pasting or just drag it directly to the bottom and let's see that if it works perfectly or not so only the end part we need to correct let's see 
transaction SPL and transaction end transaction SPL and transaction end on the blank we have we should have a transaction end sign now uh, this is finalized let's save it to make sure that all of the entries are imported perfectly you need to make sure that all the account should be created in chart of accounts in quickbooks with the same name so i have already done that let's import that i'll go to quickbooks in quickbooks under file i'll click on utilities and click on import from the iaf files i'll import that and here is my journal entry template click on open and you can see that my data is imported let's go to make sure i'll go to accountant make journal journal entries and you can see that 11 entries are made this is for payroll expense which is this entry right here travel expense telephone expenses office supplies office supplies 2500 perfect and here is all of our entries so this is pretty cool and time saving especially if you are doing projects of quickbooks it will be a great help for you so guys if you want to join our excel course or quickbooks course from basic to advanced which cover all of the techniques you can contact on this number or if you want to get our services regarding bookkeeping or accounting you can also contact on this number so that's it for today i hope you liked the video and if you did hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified of all the future videos this is Saad signing off from today's video take care